Now in this video we're going to go over how to get the image paths for the single upload interface so that you can put those inside of your CSV file. Now let me go ahead and open up the CSV. I'm going to bring it over to the screen so you guys can see it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Yes. Okay. All right. So if you guys can see my screen here, you know, I have a very, very, very simple CSV title, description, tags, and price. I don't have a column for the um, file path here. So I'm just going to go ahead and say image file path. Now, how are we going to actually get the file path? If you have a folder, if you're on a PC, okay, I'm gonna have to do another video later for a Mac. My Mac is very old. But if you're on a PC, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So you see I have these two designs right here and I made a folder on the desktop which is completely empty. Let's just say you had all of your designs inside of a folder. So I just, I labeled it design folder. All right, we'll open it up. You see there's two designs in here. So if you're on a PC, you wanna to go to your start menu, all right, and type in CMD and click enter. And it's going to bring up the command prompt, okay? This looks scary, I promise you it's not that bad. So let me bring over this right here. This is all you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the folder you want to get all the file paths for. So if you have all your designs in this folder, you'll open up the folder, you'll click right up here, okay, where a URL would typically be. This is your file location for this folder. So you want to just copy that and paste it somewhere. I have already gone ahead and pasted it right here just so that I can type it out. You have CMD open, this is your command prompt. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. The first thing you wanna do is you type in C, D, okay, space, and then all you're gonna do is type out this folder name. So C colon, now this is not a backward slash, this is actually a forward slash, very important. Forward slash, users, forward slash, Neil, forward slash, desktop, forward slash, design folder. Okay, this path right here is going to be dependent on where your folder is, not mine. Don't type out this information that I'm typing. You wanna copy in, in your own folder path. So wherever your Merch by Amazon designs are that you want the file path for, that's what you're gonna type. CD, space, and then the file path, and go ahead and click Enter. So all that does is it basically says, hey, I wanna select this file path, which is this folder, and now all you have to do is type this line out right here. So I will put this down below in this video or somewhere so you guys can actually you know, copy it on your own computer. But all you're gonna type in is dir, so directory, slash b. Now look, this, this is a backward slash, not a forward slash. Keep that in mind. Slash b, space, uh, slash s, space, slash a, colon, dash D and then space forward a uh, little arrow and then you just type in you know a name of the file that you want so in this case I'm just gonna do results.txt all right we'll hit enter and what that will do is if you open back up the folder here you're gonna see a text file all right so there's two designs and a text file so we're gonna go ahead and open up that text file and you want to copy everything except for the last little bit here because that is the text file. But you can just copy in these image paths. Now, if you, if you had a normal design folder, it's probably going to have hundreds of designs in it. This one's real easy. It only has two. So we can copy that. And then we can find our CSV over here and paste it in. So everything looks good. We have the file path. And we can go ahead and file, save this as a CSV Come over here and upload it to the single upload interface. So very, very, very easy to use. It's just going to require you to type out a few things, which I'll paste uh, down below. I'm going to paste it in the comments right now. I'm going to go ahead and paste this paste it in the comments. So there is uh, exactly what you guys are going to type in. Um, now, if this is way too complicated, you don't want to use it. I know a lot of people are asking me, like, you know, having problems getting the file path, so on and whatnot. If you're having problems, come over and use the image table. So once you upload your CSV, come to the image table, and then you can load your files directly 
to here. So if I go ahead and click uh, load files, let me uh, find it. It's in another window right now. Do 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 merge account. So I can go ahead and I select a file. Okay, I click OK, and there you go. It's uploaded. You want to make sure that this file path right here, so this is uh, the Beach Please one, you want to make sure it lines up with what you're uploading in the CSV file. So if you want to do file paths in your CSV file, use the command prompt on a desktop. Uh, again, the information is down below. I will post it in the video. I'll probably upload this to YouTube as well. If you don't want to do that, the easiest way to do it is just upload the images directly to the software via the images table and then make sure that they line up with everything in the CSV. So hopefully that explained uh, all the questions I've been giving, if, getting. If anyone has any questions uh, that I can answer literally right now, uh, drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to do that. But again, uh, CMD, all right, we'll open up the command uh, window here. And then you just type out a string of information. I will bring it back to the screen so you guys can see it. That is the wrong one. Let's see, right here. You want to type in CD and then the folder path. So you see I, have a, I pasted the folder path here so I can actually type it out. So CD space folder path, hit enter. And then you just put in uh, this right here and it will shoot out the actual information for you guys. Does anyone have any questions before I hop off here? Hello, Jacob. Hey, David, how you doing? Hey, Thess, Anthony, good to see you guys. All right, so if no one has any questions, if you are watching this video on a Facebook Live replay and you have any questions at all, drop a comment down below. If you are catching this late, look in the comments for what I posted, um, what you need to type, and that is the easiest way to grab all these file paths, and then you can upload it to uh, the single upload interface. If you guys are not using this software, uh, we added it to all the pro level subscriptions of Merge Informer. So uh, you can click that link uh, down below up top, go to Merge Informer, sign up for the three day trial and give it a shot. It's going to save you literally hundreds of hours if you're serious about your POD business, which if you're watching this, you probably are. So uh, I think that's all for this video. Appreciate you guys sticking around and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.